Welcome to Milestone Mic Methods, a tutorial series brought to you by Music in Africa Live, where we show you how to capture the sounds of African instruments. At Milestone Studios in Cape Town, our engineers have spent decades finding the best way to mic up instruments that are unique to our continent. And we're going to share this knowledge in every episode. I'm Tabo Mobo, and today we'll be looking at the best way to place microphones on two traditional bows known as Uhadi and Umkhobe for live performances and for recording. Uhadi is a wooden bow fitted with string, which is hit with a stick, and a calabash, which the player uses to modulate the sound. Here's Ngeba Kontreka showing how to play Umkhobe, a smaller bow also played with a stick. The player puts one end of umkhube into their mouth to modulate the sound and uses the stick to rub the string so that it vibrates. Expert players can even whistle at the same time. These bows are traditionally played by Kosa people of the Eastern Cape in South Africa, although variations are found as far away as South America, where it's known as the Birimbao. Uhadi and Umkhobe are not loud instruments, so you'll need to put the mic close to them to capture the sound. If you only have one mic available for Umkhobe, the best place to put it is close to the player's mouth. In a live show, a dynamic mic like the Shaw Beta 58 is a good option. Because the instrument is quiet, it is likely that other loud sounds on stage will leak into the mic, so try to place it pointing away from other instruments. Make sure that the mic is far enough from the string that the player won't accidentally hit it with a stick. Using one mic won't capture all the elements of a sound as complex as these bows. Uadi, for example, has the sound of the stick hitting the string, but also a resonance from the calabash being moved towards and away from the player's body. In a studio situation, you can get a better sound by using two condenser mics because they have a wider frequency response than dynamic mics. Here, we are using two inexpensive Rodi NT5s. This will allow us to capture the full sound, with one mic pointing towards the string and the other picking up the calabash. As we said, these bows are quieter than most other instruments. If you're recording them in a group of musicians, it's often useful to put up screens between the musicians to prevent too much sound leaking from one set of mics to another. Otherwise, if you have access to an isolation booth where you can record the bow separately, that's even better. Well, that's it for today. Our thanks to Ngaeba Kontaeka and Sky Dladla for demonstrating how these instruments are played. And to our sponsors, Music in Africa Live, the Goethe Institute, Siemens, and the Federal Foreign Office for supporting African music. Watch out for more videos in the series. And until next time, cheers and goodbye. <laughs>